Someone help! My son is drowning in the reservoir! I eat it too many hot dogs before he's swimming! Look! Up in the air! It's a bird! It's a pelican! That's a bird. Guys, it's clearly Captain Goodson here to save that hot dog kid. Are you sure it's not a pelican wearing a cape? Don't worry, hot dog kid! I've got you! Nope, you're right. That is definitely a superhero. <laughs> Thank you, Captain Goodson. How can I ever repay you? May I wash your cape in tights? Quite all right, ma'am. I have my own superhero dry cleaner for that. So mature and independent, your mother must be very proud. She is. Mom, I'm okay. Shh. I bet Captain Goodson listens to his mother when she tells him not to eat before swimming. Why do you hate me? Well, looks like everything's in order here. Captain Goodson, out! I miss him already. Mom? Go sit in the minivan. I'm just about her! I don't know how much longer I can take working in this stupid toy store. Mind if I borrow you for a sec, Milo? I go by Miles. And I'm Jervis McNorton. Uh, I know, you're my boss. Correct the mundo. Listen, I hate to crack the whip here, but I notice when you package, you don't follow the flip-flap tip-top protocol. Yeah, I, uh... Remember, flip the box flap in before you begin, so you feel tip-top and we all get the win. Right, I was doing that, but then I found a faster way that I... Faster? Hmm. Let me run this up your flagpole, Mikey. Miles. And I'm Jervis McNorton. Your temp agent only gave you a week with us, but you play your cards right, and I might, just might be able to make you full-time. Who knows? Maybe 12 years down the road, you could be filling out my socks and sandals. Smell what the Jervis is brewing? The Jervis? I'm Jervis McNorton. Now tell me, Kevin, are you a flip-flap, tip-top kind of man? Well, to be honest, I don't want to work here more than a week. What's that now? I'm saving up money to move out west so I can become a sound designer. Oh, what then? It's someone who takes different audio elements and then blends them together for music and movies. In layman's terms, please. Oh, okay. We'll take your Captain Goodson action figure, for example. Mm -hmm. His voice is far from perfect. Oh. Yeah, uh, and not just because he's a pompous jerk. Not a fan? Nope. And the action figure's voice is even more heinous. But listen, I've recorded that voice into my phone, so now I can use my sound design software to adjust the pitch. And I can sweeten the distorted clips. And then normalize the volume spikes. I'm just about so that now your poor excuse for a superhero doesn't sound like a hamster being castrated in hell. Well, yeah. thank you for bringing this to my attention, Merlin. Now I'll know exactly what to say when your temp agent asks why you've been fired. Honestly, Janet. You suggested castrating Captain Goodson. No, that's not what I said at all. Also, he thought your name was Mildew. Why did you tell him your name was Mildew? <laughs> Are there any creative temp jobs available? Creative? Miles, this is Littleville. We don't even have a movie theater. I can't wait until I have enough money to move out west. And how's that coming along? It's coming. Hey, let's talk about it over a drink tonight. You know I can't date a client. It doesn't have to be a date. I just, I like you, and we've shared some good times over the past seven years. I've shared temp work with you over the past seven years. Yeah, but you know what today is. Uh, the day you got fired? No. Janet, just give me a chance. <sighs> okay. There's a new job opportunity that just crossed my desk. That's not what I meant. It's supposed to be incredible. Oh, it, like, incredible like the time you had me stuffing envelopes for six weeks? At a nonprofit that's working to change the world. They were mailing people thousands of paper flyers to remind them to save paper. Yes, I know, I get the irony, but they meant well. I'm just saying, it would be nice if I could use my skill set to do something that makes a difference in the world. This could lead to full-time work. <sighs> Janet. I know. You don't want full-time work. Yeah, if I sell out now, I'm gonna find myself still working in a cubicle at age 60. How's that worse than finding yourself still living with your parents at age 29? Uh, well, thanks for taking it there. Miles. Miles, I'm throwing another load in the washing machine. Give me what you're wearing. Mom. Listen to your mother. 
Just take it off. It's not like your father and I haven't seen you naked before. Change in your room if it makes you feel more comfortable. Hey, Miles, you send out those resumes yet? No, Dad. Planning on doing that soon? How many times do I have to tell you it? I don't want a full-time job because you want to be a sound designer. Miles has a passion. We should support that. Stacy, you know he got his passion from hearing you with your egg shaker and blocks on the couch. It's called music therapy, and just because you don't think my job is helpful doesn't mean no one does. I was just kidding. I'm sorry. Okay, I know. But Miles, at some point, you're gonna have to move out and get a real job, like your brother. Yeah, I have a job. I work temp jobs so I can save money to move out west. I was getting drunk every night, your idea of saving up? I'm making a documentary about the bar scene, Dad. Okay, so I have to go there to record the bar scene. You should record a documentary about getting a job. Hush, 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 hush. Captain's on TV. Captain Goodson has saved the day yet again. We go now to a burning tiramisu factory in Roma, where our favorite superhero has freed an oddly mustachioed man from melting in pure deliciousness. Mamma mia, you are such a good son. Captain's tights look so clean. Miles, maybe Captain could teach you how to do laundry so your mother doesn't have to keep washing your underpants. Bruce. I'm just kidding, I'm sorry. Miles, it's fine. I like washing your underwear. Uh... Ooh, Kathy Kyle's interviewing him! Captain Goodson, anything you want to tell the folks at home? Yes, Kathy, I'd like to say happy 30th to my twin brother, Miles. I made this heroic save just for you, buddy. You gotta be kidding me. Captain Goodson, out! And there he goes, folks. Gee, that Captain Goodson isn't just a good son, he's a great brother, too. I wonder where Captain flew off to. Mom, stop calling him Captain. He's your son. What can I say? He's my favorite Captain son. And you're my favorite living at home son. Surprise! How wonderful to have my two birthday boys here together. How'd you get here so fast? Ma, he can fly. Captain. Lieutenant. <laughs> You're doing your job too well. We're just twiddling our thumbs all day down at the precinct. Well, I'll be sure to leave a perp out there just for you, Pops. <laughs> That's my boy. We were just talking about how good you looked on TV. All because of your super jeans. <laughs> Miles, I brought you the last piece of tiramisu before the whole factory erupted like Mount Tiramisuvius. Tiramisuvius. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's not he just put two words together. Why are you laughing at that? <laughs> That's a good one. Now blow out the candles before Captain has to save this cake from another Tiramisuvius. Wait, 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 Miles. You gotta make a wish. Yeah, maybe you could wish for a full-time job. Bruce? I'm sorry, I'm kidding. All right, I wish. I wish that people would take me seriously for once. Honey, you're not supposed to say your wish out loud. That's right, Mom. It ruins the wish. Sounds like your wish didn't come true. No one's taking you seriously. Bruce? I'm sorry. Forget it, I'm going to lowdowns. Celebrating with friends for your birthday! Great idea! Want a lift? I'm flying the wife and kids to Hawaii as a special birthday treat! And your bar is right on the way! You've done enough already. The pleasure's been all mine! Mom, I'll call you when we get to Hawaii so you know we're okay! Captain Goodson, out! What a sweet boy. It's exactly what you hope for in a son. I'm right here, Dad. My name's Old Smokey. I'm the bartender here at Lowdowns, and Miles owes me a lot of money. Smokey, you can cool it. I'm not recording for the documentary right now. But you do owe me money, though. Fine. Here's my last paycheck. That should cover my tab from last week. And a, a round for everybody at the bar. <laughs> well, that's kind of you. Seeing as though I'm the only one here, I'll just pour myself a couple drinks. A special occasion? I finally realized that I'm going nowhere with my life. What about the documentary? I thought I was going to be on NPR. -a. Nope, neither of us are going to be a nerdy public radio. Just give me a shot of something gross. Ever since he started flying in spandex, I mean, everyone fell in love with him. And meanwhile, everybody hates me. I don't hate you. Yeah, well, that's sweet of you, Smokey, but I know that you do. You crazy. Oh, speaking of people who hate me. Janet! about what I said before. Yeah, well, you were wrong. I know. Yeah, I'm not just some 29-year-old bum who loses his parents. I'm a 30-year-old bum who loses his parents. Oh my god, I completely forgot it's your birthday. Whoa, you don't watch the news? Yeah, Captain Goodson told the whole world while well, he's proven how much better he is than me. Miles, I am so sorry. Happy 
happy birthday. That's uh, fine. I mean, you're just my temp agent. I know, but you were right before. We've known each other for seven years, and I don't know. I... You should come have a drink with me. Miles, please. Well, why can't you just give me a chance? How can you expect me to do that if you don't even give yourself a chance? Miles, you want another shot? Uh... Just take this job I was telling you about. It's only temporary. Miles? You'll be in accounting, and it offers free food, lodging, dry cleaning. Miles! Yeah, give it to me. Really? Great! Wait, 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 what? A car will pick you up in the morning. You'll be headed to a firm called Darling and Darling. Oh, uh, wait. Just please, please be on your best behavior. This is a big new client, and I want to impress them. Jenna, I was talking to Smoke. They'll be coming for you tomorrow at 8 a.m. sharp, so make sure you're all packed. Smokey, give me another shot. You want another shot? Another shot? Yeah. You want another shot? Another shot? Uh. God, that car horn could use an EQ and a compression filter. Miles Downey, I'm here for Mr. Miles Downey. Yeah, all right, all right. Good afternoon. It's eight in the morning. My name is Titus. I'm here to deliver you to Darling and Darling. Darling and Dar- Oh, I signed up for that, didn't I? Where are your bags? I didn't have time to pack. I can get my mom to bring me clothes when she gets home from work. The company can provide you with necessities. Get in the car. Why do I feel like I'm being kidnapped? Is this an underground warehouse? You must go through security. Is there anything in your tiny pockets? My phone. I'll take that. My keys? Taken. How about this lint? Don't need it. What's the matter with you? Throw it on the ground. I would rather not litter. Is it okay if I put it back in my pocket? Yes. Okay. Have you not been through a security gate before? Sorry. This just seems like a lot for a temp job. What are you guys taking over the world? We've got a possible code 11! Get to the ground! Now! Oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, wait. I get it. No more jokes. Do us both a favor and be slightly funny the next time around. Well, thanks for taking it there. Miles Downey? Yes? So good to meet you. I'm Vanessa Darling. Oh, you must be important then. Ha! <laughs> no, I just own the company. Welcome. Have you been drinking? No. Hmm, okay. Well, when you get a chance to change into something... Cleaner, that would be great. We've also got free mouthwash in the bathrooms, just saying. Let me show you where you'll be working. We found an old typewriter, which I think you'll really love. No computer? Our lead accountant prefers analog, so you'll be following his data entry protocol. Is that a recording studio? Yes. Very good. We're creating a new meditative sound design to inspire world peace. That's awesome. I love sound design and world peace. You are interested in sound design? Very much. I've been studying it for years, and I've always wanted to use it to make a difference. Hmm. Would you be interested in working as our new sound designer? <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll stick to the data entry. I get it. No, please. We had to let our previous sound designer go, and besides, I could always just hire a new temp for accounting. Are you capable of doing the work? Dr. Mofo. Titus, please. Just call me Vanessa. Dr. Vanessa, they've enacted the mission. Miles, how about you get acquainted with the recording studio? Uh, you go great. Thank you. Titus, I'm not mad, but if you could refrain from calling it the mission in front of the temp, that would be great. God, a job in sound design with a state-of-the-art computer and soundboard. I mean, wait till everyone at home hears about this. They'll finally believe in me. <laughs> Uh... Having trouble? Ah, Titus. Scared me. You don't know how to turn it back on, do you? Well, I'm sure I can figure it out, because I've played with some free editing software on my phone, so, I mean, how hard can this be? You don't want to turn out like the last guy. Oh, yeah, the one that got fired. Yes, fired. Right. Captain? Lieutenant? I'm sorry to pull you away from your birthday vacation. Any idea who he is? All he had in his pocket was this recording device. <sighs> if you're listening to this, then I have been murdered. I am a sound designer for... No, 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 stop! Sound designer? You think Miles killed him for his job? Um... <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm sorry. <gasps> He's alive! I can be a real mofo. I can be a real mofo. I can be a real mofo. 
I can be a real... Seems like the only sound this guy designed was a broken record. Hmm. I'm kidding. Lieutenant, we may have a problem. Well, I, I thought it was funny. I'm sorry. It seems as if the supervillain Dr. Mofo is at it again with her hypnotic powers. Oh, so you like my joke. Have no fear. Oh, good. I mean, I knew it was funny, but I've been getting a lot of pushback from state... Captain Goodson is here to save the day. Captain Goodson, out. I can be a real mofo. I can be a real mofo. I knew I was funny. I can be a real mofo. 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 I can be